Okay, Steven Universe. Never has a cartoon, let alone any series, made me tear up as much as Steven Universe did. Here comes a thought, the final scene of the series, Steven yelling at a cloud. Overall, I'd say Steven Universe was thought-provoking, emotionally driven, had great character development, and beautiful art to back it all up. However, where the series has its highs, it definitely has some glaring lows. And years later, I've been able to pinpoint what I would have loved to see more of in the series. So, here are five things I would change about Steven Universe. Number one, the pacing. I think everyone can agree that the most prominent issue with Steven Universe during its run was the pacing. It was basically impossible to get a sense of how the series was supposed to be paced because of the weird airing schedule on Cartoon Network. Like, mid-season we would have to wait seven months for the next episode. Like, what the f God! Anyways, now that all the episodes are out and you can binge the series, it still definitely feels like a series that speeds up and slows down more often than it should. Sometimes, it's worth just skipping some episodes entirely. Because... Number two, the importance of the Beach City residents. Remember when they said there was no filler episodes? Yeah, me too. While I somewhat agree that every episode does have a place in the canon, by the end of the series it feels like I never truly got the answer of why did we spend so much time with the Beach City residents? I really wish there was more interaction with the residents and gems combining the two worlds, which is actually a pretty huge theme in Steven's arc. A lot of people thought of having the residents go to war with Homeworld, but I think having more arcs like Lars and the Off Colors, or even Vidalia's relationship with Amethyst would have made a much more connected world. Number three, ramp up the fight scenes. I know Steven Universe isn't supposed to be a battle shounen, and the focus was much more on Steven's emotional journey rather than the fights, but all the pieces were there. Gems with special abilities on a team going out to fight corrupted gems? I mean, come on. Many of the action scenes in Steven Universe felt like more of an afterthought. I can name a few instances where I actually felt the fight scenes really scratched that itch. Pearl vs. Amethyst, Garnet vs. Jasper, the Gems vs. Blue Diamond? Most of the other action scenes I can think of are either too short or lacked creative choreography. As the story progressed, the fight scene should have ramped up to match. Number four, make the episodes longer. Now I'm kind of just devolving into just a wish list, but seriously, seeing how the creators just use 11 minutes to tell a complete story while still hinting at past and future events is pretty incredible. Imagine what they could do with 22 minute episodes. We only really technically got two longer episodes, Bismuth and Gem Harvest. And while Gem Harvest felt more like a holiday special, Bismuth was one of the best episodes of the entire series. Longer episodes would give more time to build up plot points, move different story beats along, and still have time for music and fun. This would have allowed the story to step away from Steven's perspective and allow us to spend a lot more time with the gems that we love. Number five, the final homeworld arc. If there's one thing that Steven Universe should have done, extend the final act of the series. Like, literally they had to make a sequel series to address some of the points they didn't address in the original series because of time? The build-up to Homeworld, the Diamonds, and even the Rose Quartz reveal were so good! So it felt like we entered the endgame and final act of the series. But then, 10 episodes later, we're done. I just couldn't believe that in three episodes, an intergalactic dictator changed the ideology she's had for thousands of years after one talk with her troubled child. Like, all I'm saying is that I wanted more build-up to the final confrontation on Homeworld with White Diamond. I can't say enough just how much I love Steven Universe, and it will remain as one of my favorite cartoons of all time. But some of the points I talked about make it difficult for me to recommend to new watchers, and it's a shame. Because honestly, what the show gets right, it gets right. And those moments are so worth it if you're able to kind of get past all the fluff. At the end of the day though, I still recommend binging Steven Universe.